what is up nerds cloud here with another reaction type video uh it's been a long time since i've done something like this on this channel i did one for dragalia lost when the trailer first came out from nintendo i was incredibly hyped about that game i saw the trailer and i broke down my initial thoughts while watching it the summer game fest just released a whole bunch of trailers i watched those live live i had to watch the pre-record and i was behind but I watched that on my other YouTube channel where I kind of just play whatever games I want. I, I react to things. It's just more of a whimsical place. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, on my gotcha channel here, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis it has more information uh, than we've seen in previous iterations of information. Such big words for Elmo. The point is, I wanted to go over my initial thoughts. Now, the trailer is only a minute and 29 seconds, so I don't think it's going to be too long. And as a individual that uses the moniker from the Final Fantasy VII series, I feel like it's my duty to... <laughs> he said duty. Obviously, iOS and Android, it seems like that's definitely the live stream that's everywhere, right? This is as high as the graphics will go. Yeah, it is. Um... That's definitely the live stream, Bleeding from the Planet, classic Sephiroth. Um, I mean, those look like... De I mean, actually, those might just be defeated enemies. So, Sephiroth are non-hero. Hero, uh, Genesis of Rhapsodus is uh, the closest thing that... Before Genova became a whole entire thing within the Final Fantasy VII realm for Sephiroth, Genesis and Angeal were the closest things for Sephiroth as like a tight knit family, right? Like they were friends growing up. So we're going to know a lot more, right? They tell us the quote, we still don't know Sephiroth, which I absolutely agree with. Uh, there's not a lot that we. We don't know a lot about his backstory. Like, it typically is what happened to him, um, specifically with Shinra, followed by post-Genova, right? Like, once he finds out. All right, so, uh, again, looking at this, this is the exact scene from Final Fantasy VII uh, with the remake twist, from what I can see, because uh, Barrett's... I mean, the outfit, everything, I mean, it just depends on where it's going, right? Like, I, I'm going to ramble a bit, but Final Fantasy VII Remake retells the story of the original Final Fantasy, right? It's not the exact, it's not It's not a remake. I'm sorry, how, how do I quote this without the, like, it's almost like an Avengers kind of multiverse thing where uh, Resident Evil 4 came out and it was a remake. They remade the game from, from scratch with updated graphics, updated utilities, great voice acting, the whole nine. Final Fantasy VII Remake, if you haven't played it, I won't spoil the end, but the path diverges. Uh, Sephiroth is self-aware. That's where I'll leave it at if you haven't seen it. So who knows what we see here? Um, this is the part of the game where Nanaki, Red 13, but Nanaki uh, is telling Aerith that He's not going to hurt her, like, not at all. And this is when he escapes. My right, Barrett shoots it. So, it switches between two different paths. So, the skip auto must be the text. That little three dots must be, like, the menu. Uh, this is another line from the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, where Angeal is taking Zack on uh, pathways. I don't know if this is Wutai, or they're heading towards where Angeal is from, chasing down Genesis. So, obviously, we get more multiple storylines. Uh, and then this is the very beginning of the game in uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, where Zack is you you you're in a like a special mission and you're fighting a behemoth. Uh, so we see like an ATB down here, this blue meter, and then obviously your classic HP with your character that'll whop. It. This might be like a tutorial level. Now this is the it transitions from. Like, so the enemy didn't attack, right? And then we have these meters that are blue. Then it switches to this. So I think this is the gotcha system. This hairstyle from Zack, like you can see that they're different. This is because this is Zack at the end of his journey. Um, and then these, me so this meter was originally down here. So I guess uh, the everything must minimize, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Everything minimizes when when the enemy's attacking. So it looks like we have two ice spells, and then this would be cure or regen. 
I don't know what these pluses are. It looks like it would be healing. Oh, my cursor is under it. Cure Blizzara Blizzard Blow or Blizzara Blow, Slashing Thrust Plus, Plus, and Homing Bat Blast. <laughs> Homie Blast. Uh, plus, plus. So I think this is. Uh, I don't know if it's. And this looks like an ultimate kind of thing. Um, let's let this go a little bit. So it looks like that's the slashing thrust. And then those other two blink. Did it take away any meter? I'm gonna keep going back and forth. But so it's charging while time goes. So even while time's going, it looks like the meter builds. And then, could you get out of the way, please, so I can see Tempest Force. Heavenly Spike, Runra, Thundara, and Cura. So Cura costs the same as Cure. The meter is individual for each character. Oh, so I never got to comment this, man. I'm going back and forth all over the place. Uh, but yeah, so this outfit, I wonder if like, so it's the same picture of Zack, so, but this is clearly not what Zack wears normally. I don't even know what blade that is. So this is a gotcha character. Is it in the entire the entire character? Are you able to switch out? I would assume when you when you summon for a character, you get access to new abilities. Or maybe it's just a costume thing. Maybe it's just a costume. And there's Tifa. She's in like some Wu Tai outfit. Guts water kick, and then Air. This looks like Genesis, like a like a Genesis version of Aerith. Cloud is already with that heat. Okay, so... Wow, Cloud was already activating, like, Blade Beam there? I don't know if these are... It, I don't know if these are in transition of each other. It might be. Yeah, it might be. So, uh, obviously, depending on the character you get, maybe it's the weapon. There's a lot we don't know about the game, right? Speculation, that's why I'm just rambling. Eight minutes in, and I haven't... Okay. Uh, so we have solo content, we have daily quests, enhancement quests, uh, I'm sure that's to level up your character, summon quests, there was a, uh, there was a, um, there was a battle, I'm sorry, they showed, like, you could use a guardian force or summon to connect to your character, so maybe that's what that's for, uh, battle tower, take on special battles to obtain character memories, character memories might be your classic rendition of, gotcha characters that you get for free just by as you continuously play story quest might be individual uh stories just like you see zach with angeal maybe that's zach's story that you go through i guess that's another thing too ever crisis they showcase another part of it where it's like three random uh shinra soldiers so maybe they're the plot emphasis because there's a spoiler, there's a scene between one of the characters and Sephiroth, but then every character that like, you could summon, you get Cloud, then you get to go through Cloud's memories kind of thing. Maybe that's what that is. Um, I see 10 out of 10, that little uh, credit card. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, maybe that's your daily for Battle Tower, and that's clearly your energy. Uh, growth must be level your characters. Enhance must be weapons. So this is character based and weapon based. Draws your gotcha system. So after they click that, they go to Midgar Falls. Every five floors, it looks like there's a boss. This person's player level one, so a bunch of stuff isn't unlocked. Uh, you see Cloud, Barret, Tifa, and Aerith. Three star. So you get the generic copies of the characters to level them up. Uh, obviously, we don't know what the rank is. Also, power level is really high. Yeah, so the summon stream. Okay, so there's two different types of crystals here. Uh, Ifrit is unbound, which is not connected to a character. Radiant Plummet, Hellfire. Uh, charge speed, 1800. Charge speed and strength. Hmm. L, ability modifications. Not too sure what that is. I don't know what the L would stand for. It's everywhere. It's on, ability of, it's on all the abilities. Pact, Radiant, 800% fire, elemental, physical, magic damage to one enemy, charge speed. Obviously an ultimate, right? The uh, Radiant Plum is the... It's like a fire tornado kind of thing. Clear. So to unlock the pack, you need to clear the trial of Ifrit Normal. Must be multiple versions of it. Consume 500 stamina and any enhancement quest. So these are pack missions. So this is what I was referring to uh, in the beginning. So this is character's name is Glenn. Glenn's rocking this huge axe. Uh, oh, yeah. I, you could see in the combat. So it's typically five actions. 
And then your characters do do things, unless you're just switching between each one. But this is what, this is what, I kind of feel like this is the vibe. Uh, these characters have never been referenced, at least not by my knowledge. And I'm not the grandmaster of Final Fantasy VII knowledge. But these seem like the characters that will follow for the main story. And then as we, like, you know what I mean? Like original story, followed by, you could summon a character like Cloud, or Sephiroth, Genesis, Angeal, Hojo, Cloud on a motorcycle. And, and that character will unlock a certain, uh, like, backstory. Um, we can see Skip. Or speed up and manual to auto, so that's good. But let me some auto games. A lot of the understatement I thought monsters are supposed to. Yeah. Almost like. Yeah, this. That's a dope hoodie. Hmm. That's what I definitely think it is. We have those original characters. These must be like the supers. And then this is. It looks like it's a combined super, right? Yeah. I didn't notice this at first, but it's a combined super. They don't really. They don't really speak to... I thought they were going to be like a combination, like one shoots the gun off the foot of someone and that bullet makes him dash faster. Yeah. So this is... This is clearly... Clearly, I think this is Glenn. Oh, man. Yeah, so I noticed kind of so pre-registration is already live right now So you can go on to iOS and Android and pre-register for it And for those nerds out there that really want to get to the mix I've already done this you can sign up for the closed beta on Android uh, which uh, June 8th through June 28th um, I was not able to do that through iOS I was only able to do it through BlueStacks because I don't have an Android device so uh, if anyone in the comments below want to know how I did it, just let me know. Shout out to Clay for the help on that. Um, yeah, so the last thing I got to say about this is uh, storyline wise, if you're not, I, I'm excited and I'm I'm putting a lot of emphasis on what's going on. And, I, and this is just speculation. This is just a a game theory. But I think what they're doing is Ever Crisis is its own story. So Final Fantasy VII remake has bridged the original narrative right which is why if you watch rebirth what's happening at the end of, or what's happening in rebirth is shaking the foundation of what we know about the final fantasy 7 timeline so what i think ever crisis is is a adaptation of what sephiroth knows or has been through or what is he or what he is going through so like this whole idea uh like season one of this game might end with glenn who I think is our protagonist is meeting up with Sephiroth. Uh, so it looks like I don't want to get to see the gotcha system. Um, the battle system looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I, I'm interested to see what the game I'm more interested. In, and I don't say this often with gotcha games. I'm really interested in the story because I would love for it to become this changing path narrative that like what you play in rebirth, like because this game is free to download, you can play through it and it's an original story. And then it might give hints towards what Rebirth is going to be. Um, or it's its own side project that has no bearing on the story, which is also cool. I know some people don't like to play another game that's a, mo like a mobile game. Uh, I I'm getting off in tangents right now. It's, it's happening. This video, it's only a minute and 29 seconds long, and here I am. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I got any of these uh, ideas right, wrong? Are you happy? you hype? Uh, regardless of what you think, you are valued and appreciated. Before I leave, let me tell you the story of the 